The world needs kindness. The world needs compassion. The world needs manners <laughs> and respect. But that always starts with us. Self-love, kindness and compassion starts with us. Hello! For those who don't know me, my name is Lauren Kerr. I am an EMD with the Juice Plus Company. I'm also a best-selling author and my jam is all about psychology and mindset. It's what I've studied, it's what I love to share. So Head Office asked me to put a little video together where I could share maybe some love and light for the thousands of us all around the world who are in lockdown. It is a crazy time in the world. Totally get it. And I don't know if there's much I can say that's gonna change our circumstances. That's probably a conversation for another day, but I did wanna just come in with a quick 10 minute video or maybe some things that you could be doing in this time right now to keep your spirits high, to keep yourself and your health and your happiness in check. And just a nice little video you may be able to send to someone who may be on your heart to let them know that you're thinking of them too. So I think now more than ever, the world needs kindness, the world needs compassion, the world needs manners <laughs> and respect. But that always starts with us. Self-love, kindness and compassion starts with us. So some little things that you may be able to do. I'm gonna challenge your mindset in a few things. I'm gonna share with you some simple hacks that everyone can do no matter where in the world you are. The first thing I would encourage you to do is challenge yourself to think about how can you use this time as a gift? I'm sure you can agree, it's like this badge of honor we carry around with us in the 21st century when people ask, hey, how are you? We always say, busy. <laughs> I have erased busy from my vocabulary. Instead, I say full, because I think life is full. It sounds way more abundant. But so many of us always use time as a reason why we haven't done what we wanted to do. So if you've been gifted with some more time right now, I challenge you firstly to ask yourself, what is something that's been, you keep putting on the back burner because you just haven't had the time to do it. And how can you use this time as an opportunity to get ahead? Whether it's cleaning out the drawers, it is looking into that course that you said you wanted to do. Maybe it was getting all your stuff sorted for the end of financial year. Whether it was, um, I don't even know. You will know. What's that thing that you say you're gonna get around to that you never get around to because you don't have the time? Now, if you have the time, what if you put some time aside to actually do something that's gonna help you feel productive? And I'm gonna give you, there's four happy hormones. There's four hormones that we really wanna focus on that's gonna help you lift your spirits. I'm gonna give you tangible things that you can do in this time to help you be in control of those hormones and help you bring them on or welcome them so you can feel a certain way. So dopamine, or dopamine is a reward chemical that you release when you feel like you've done something good. So if it is something that you wanna do that's on your checklist, it's been on your to-do list forever, tick it off, feel productive. I think sometimes we get, when our day-to-day -day life is put on pause, we fall into a slump at home and we lose, we lose our boundaries. So I challenge you, another thing you can do to welcome dopamine in is have some kind of day-to-day -day structure still. Have a time if you are working from home, when do you show up for work? When do you clock off? When do you have breaks? Um, have a task that you can complete every single day, like a little checklist. And that reward is gonna make you feel like you've accomplished something and that's gonna release dopamine as well. Making sure you're releasing happy hormones, you're celebrating little wins. And um, even like a little thing you can check off might be your self-care activity. Whether you've said you really wanted to give yourself that facial or you really wanted to um, do a treatment for your hair. Just little things that you can tick off that make you feel like that it's a reward hormone, that you've done something for you. And having that structure and having those boundaries help you feel like you're still day-to-day -to -day still showing up and you've got some kind of purpose or you've got some kind of intention with your day and then it all just merge into one. The second hormone that I would love to help you guys release is the love hormone being oxytocin. Um, so this can be something as simple as playing with your dog or um, cuddling your kids. And what I mean, like, real, I, I really encourage you to do these things. You probably do them every day, but take like a second longer to really embrace it and be present and soak in that beautiful moment because that's releases oxytocin, but it's also help you, helps you release gratitude. And you can't feel gratitude and frustration or gratitude and despair or gratitude and anger at the same time. It's just not physically or psychologically possible. 
So if you can really do things that bring along the oxytocin hormone, like hugging your dog, hugging your kids, putting some music on and listening to music really helps you lift up your vibe and your energy as well. Um, or even just doing something nice for someone. Like I said at the start of this video, I think now more than ever, people need kindness and compassion. So maybe you can spend, I encourage you or challenge you to take a few minutes today just to send someone a message, letting them know that you're thinking of them. Send your friend a message of everything that you love about them. Just a compliment out of nowhere to show them how much you appreciate them. Or check in with your neighbor. If you know there's some people who are really doing it tough right now, just sometimes all you need to do is just a message to show them that you care and that you're thinking of them. So it really is giving that can be the biggest gift. And I know we say giving is selfless, but really it's it actually ends up, the person who gets the biggest reward is you because oxytocin hit, which makes you feel really lovey and lifts up your vibe. And you can tell that vibe is contagious and the world needs a lot more love and light right now. So there's some things you can do with oxytocin. Give a compliment, give someone a hug, send someone a message out of the blue, write a letter of gratitude, maybe for all the things that you are personally grateful for right now and check in. Check in with your neighbor, check in with your friends, check in with family. If you see somebody who maybe even posting online in a different way, check in and see if they're okay because usually your intuition isn't wrong. The another thing that you can do to make you feel great at this time is do things that are gonna help you increase your serotonin. So I know everyone's in different circumstances, but if you can get outside right now, sunshine is a way to release serotonin. I'm getting in nature going a walk around the block, sitting on the grass, like just really taking a big breath and being present and grounding in nature and just feeling really at one. I know sometimes we get so caught up, especially with media. We, sh we breathe really shallow, we get anxious. But one of the best things you can do is just turn off all screens, disconnect and go ground in nature, whether it's five minutes, whether it's half an hour, we can go for a walk around the block. Whether meditation is something that you can do, maybe that you want to get into meditation, um, but really just getting out in nature and grounding and moving. So something it's great for you to do, whether you do this inside or outside, is move. It's the easiest way to release serotonin. So um, dance around the house, do a home workout. If you want to go on YouTube, if you're not part of a holistic health program of some sort, there's so many free workout guides on YouTube, things you can do. I know when I went home once in lockdown, me and mum were doing one on um, an aerobic class or in our lounge room together and it was good. It was so much fun. Um, but walking, running, dancing, home workouts, move your body. Um, it's the easiest way to release serotonin, which is going to make you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And don't wait till you feel a certain way to take action. So many of us are like, we'll do that thing that we said we're going to do when we feel inspired or energized. Or we'll show up and we'll... We'll be compassionate and we'll check in on that person when we're okay. Or we will move, we'll exercise when we're, and we'll move when we, when we feel like it. But my biggest advice to you is separate your feelings from action. Cause so often it's actually the action that's going to bring about the emotion or the feeling that you're looking for. If you want to feel grateful, go and express gratitude for someone else and you'll feel super grateful for what you have. If you want to feel energized and motivated, go move your body and I promise you the energy will come afterwards because of the release in endorphins. Um, if you want to have that, if you want to feel loved, go love yourself first and do something on your self-care or your joy menu and that's what's going to release the dopamine that's going to make you feel so loved. So my little mindset tip or hack for you is don't wait till you feel a certain way to go take action. Take action first and I promise you the emotion or the feeling that you're chasing will come. And my last tip or trick for you is a really easy one to help you release endorphins. Yes, move your body every day even if you're in lockdown. Yes, eat healthy where you can. Yes, have boundaries where you can and still like set goals, try to have a task a day so you're still task oriented and you feel like you're making traction towards something you have purpose. But it's okay to slow down. It's okay to sit on the couch and have a nice dark chocolate. That's going to release your endorphins. Um, sitting on the couch and watching a feel-good movie, put a comedy on with your partner or if you're by yourself or with the kids. Laugh, watch a comedy. Um, 
I know something that we used to do as kids is used to sit there and somebody would get up and try to do something funny in the game was you couldn't laugh, that you could not laugh. The person who laughed lost and had to go up and try and make everyone laugh next. So yes, try to be disciplined where you can. Yes, take action where you can. Yes, practice self-compassion where you can. But if you need to have a good cry, if you need to hop in a bath, if you need to sit in the couch and watch Netflix, choose a happy, uplifting movie, choose dark chocolate <laughs> over normal chocolate, because when you feel good, you do good. And so many of us are looking for someone else to give us validation for how we're feeling or waiting for something in our external world to change for us to feel good rather than being empowered with little small things that we can all do from home. If we take responsibility for our state, we take responsibility for our actions. And if we can take responsibility for our own little part of our corner of the world, that's how we slowly start to change the world. So thinking of you no matter where you are in the world, know that you've got a beautiful community within the Juice Plus you can lean into. We're all in this together and sending you so much love and light.